I love how when you are about to get one thing and then all of a sudden something random just comes through and blocks the path of that one thing that you are trying to get. For me personally, since I've been doing YouTube and got the monetization like last year and, and on the anniversary of that because I think July will be the time we have gotten it. So it's almost a damn year. But when it comes down to it, I finally reached a hundred threshold. Guess what? I can't receive it because for some reason they don't accept PayPal. So meaning I have to go find an actual like bank, get that account open somehow with what money, by the way. And then when it comes down to it, that's how I will be able to receive that. So that's absolutely bonkers that that's the thing. Why doesn't PayPal just accept it? I don't necessarily know. I find it actually not even frustrating. I just find the situation hilarious at this point because this is just dumb because it's like you get one thing cool but now it's blocked by another thing so you can't get that thing until you get that thing blocked and out the way so this is just really damn dumb just gonna keep that a sec so if you'd like to send me like and you know a bit of money so i could at least get this account open so i could at least receive that shit then please do because this is just egregious at this point it really is Secondly, it's Genshin time, because when it comes down to it, I said in the beginning of this year, hey yo, I'm about to just cook Genshin content, and we're gonna go ham on that, so this is what we're gonna do. Lo and behold, my bitch ass did not post anything Genshin related, like, for a long period of time, so, and I don't understand why so, because I have put in 438 hours into this game. You should at least be expecting 438 hours of content regarding this damn game, and I don't even think I even got 48 hours of that content of this game at all in video form. So when it comes down to it, I got some catching up to do. And definitely, there's a lot of things in Genshin that I would like to have talked about. But to be honest again, I don't necessarily know how people kind of are on this channel when it comes to Genshin. Sometimes you guys like it, sometimes you don't. And I find it to be kind of in a weird place of it. But I'm just going to do what we do and just see what the hell happens. And even if this is not your cup of tea, hopefully you'll get a few laughs out of it because, you know, at least there'll be something to you. But my main point of what I want to focus is, is essentially from the quest that we got in, in 4.6 this patch, which is Arlequino absolutely trashing the shit out of the Traveler. Like her ass was absolutely ruined, honestly. Like she literally made the Traveler one of her own damn kids in that damn orphanage because that's how much she owned her ass. Well, what am I talking about? Exactly what happened in the quest, at least at the very end, was that obviously the Traveler ended up fighting, you know, Arlequino and pull out her Harbinger form looking like a, a fine businesswoman, honestly. Like she just rolled up on a Sunday and just said, here I am and now you're just gonna have your whole house cooking and burning because you're just like, damn, she out here looking mad fine. But when it comes down to it though, basically Lamine is out here just trying to whoop her ass but not doing a good job of it, got restrained at one point and you know, things didn't turn out well. She thought she was about to get body, but then not really so much. And then Arlequino says this line here. <laughs> Which tells us that Oh shit, Lamine actually by herself would get stomped the hell out by her if she really were to try at this point. So the huge fat question like Lamine's titties, how does she get stronger though? And that's, that is the question that I think a lot of people actually have. Because this is like one of those rare occasions where she just straight up loses a battle, right? And to be fair, she has not won a lot of battles by herself. If you really think about it, like in the beginning of the game to Monset fighting Storm Terror or Devolin or whatever you want to call him, essentially she had, you know, Diluc and Jean and even Venti to come through to give out some damn power and help to stop to get her to beat Devolin in some shape and form. Then you had Osayo who came through and tried to wreck all leeway flooding that bitch underwater like it's the wettest place ever just like Yelan's vagina. But when it comes down to it though they didn't necessarily do that but you know they had the Adept Eye and they had the Chishin and also the Traveler was there too but everybody worked together so again teamwork. Then you had a whole moment in, in you know in Azuma 
where basically she got her ass beat by the Shogun the first damn time and then the second time come through where all of Inazuma with their visions and their hope come through to help out you know the Lumine again so again helping hands come together to save her ass then you had Sumeru which all of Sumeru came through to whoop the shit out of you know Scaramouche at the time and then still got body by the Tore by that damn I guess audio thing that kind of knocked her out so that's also like another thing then finally Fontaine everybody came through to help with the primordial what Norwal bull nonsense fish monster thing and essentially what ends up happening is that you know new Valette come through and get his power to gnosis and you know he helped out so again didn't do it alone the only times where she fought alone and actually succeeded was against child all the way back in leeway during the whole old style thing and then the whole fight with senora in inazuma so she's only really whooped two harbingers by herself granted that's better than majority of people but still she doesn't necessarily you know takes the cake in the strongest person because she got body many times in different places and had to have help constantly and there's nothing wrong with your character getting help trying to you know stomp out some enemies but at the same time with you being kind of the way you are you should be strong enough to do something now granted it's not really her place to try to be fighting for this world like that because at the end of the day she is a spectator of the world she isn't really meant to intervene in a lot of the stuff that happens here but when it comes down to it she does anyway and get her ass either beaten for it or has to team up to basically jump the problem and just because she's a descender doesn't mean that she, you know she can't get her ass beat because hell even the third descender got chopped up into pieces and got turned into pieces of the damn gnosis so again you can die as a descender but you know it, it's not gonna be you know just like the first one or the second one you know as people kind of find in lore and stuff saying that they're the most powerful ones you know they're they can be powerful but not everybody's gonna be like that hell not even people that are outlanders which are people that come from different worlds that go into that it's not necessarily the strongest people ever because that means aloy would have to be strongest and well let's be honest i don't think anybody wants aloy to be the strongest person in the entirety of genshin's history oh! Ew, dude! What? but it's like if Okay, she's not strong to beat Arlequina, right? She ain't strong to, you know, put fodder in her place. But when it comes down to it, though, how is she going to beat literally everybody else, much less find her brother if she's not that damn strong enough? Either she's going to need a Zenkai boost very quickly, or someone's going to train her, right? And immediately my brain goes into Natline, which we'll be exploring this year, most likely, at in August at some point in time. And when it comes down to it, while we don't know much about the country of Natlan, most likely, you know, we will see a lot of challenging stuff happen there. I mean, hell, the captain is supposed to be there at the Fitsui Harbinger, who is, you know, a person that is more ready to body the shit out of some people. You know, at least that's what it seems, even though there is a bit of high honor that he has. But still, he would not hesitate to body the shit out of people that, you know, he needs to body. So I can honestly see potentially the captain training Lamine or giving some type of pointers and advice in terms of a fight to make her strong. And that's how the Traveler gets like a boost in power and stuff like that. Because also in the canon of the game, like in cutscene form, it just isn't as consistent because sometimes she'll bust out different elements at the same time and other times she will not use that shit even though that's your main factor you can use multiple elements but you choose not to do it though she can even like manipulate the elements in a way where it changes how you know it's used because for example and i still will never understand why she doesn't do this anymore but in in Azuma, when she was about to strike shogun her blade was long as hell with the electricity that was going from it why can't she do that again when we can't do it in game i don't know so on that front genshin is inconsistent but again when it comes down to just overall though that's like the only way i could see her getting stronger or anything like that because i doubt dane's if we're gonna lift a hand and try to be like yeah so uh this is how things is gonna go and uh yeah let me teach you how to actually fight use the powers of the abyss honestly because you know 
that's just not possible right now or you know he ain't gonna necessarily do it because he just doesn't give a shit i think there's like a theory about uh fasui clock apparently with how people are gonna appear in the game which the captain could have Columbina come through too so Columbina could also train her in a way because she's a strange ass girl who gives me Achimu vibes so who knows but when it comes down to it though the point is is that as she is now she is not necessarily strong as shit right she definitely survived a lot of things definitely durable as hell right she's like sore she can take a hit but when it comes down to it though as far as actually like throwing down hands with someone that's really strong that's the whole thing we gotta worry about you know it's like we're halfway through the game and we're going to natlana then shnezna a year later and then two years out it's going to be conria so three more years of this game of its story currently and that's gonna be basically it so she's gonna need something in all of this time but what will that be and how will that be no effing clue i mean she can't even beat her you know there's no doubt that she can't save you know ether when it comes down to it as a whole or even beat the unknown god that sealed her powers up in the first damn place so who the hell really knows but yeah that's essentially what i really wanted to discuss for this one i've seen like a lot of people talk about this and a lot of people were bitching and complaining about how she lost the fight there's nothing wrong with her losing a fight especially by herself because we don't know how strong she was we really didn't and we, the last thing we would want is Genshin to be all oh, winning fights here but inconsistent here and at least it gives us a baseline as to okay this is where she at this is where she can hang with and you know it, it at least gives us some idea as to where traveler is overall so i appreciate that you know so that's just personally for me but again hopefully you did enjoy this one if you did be sure to like subscribe hit the notification or else also follow me on the socials and like to do this to the channel pay about to say something stupid because i don't have that but anyway ko-fi and cash up is available as well and if you'd like to follow me again twitter and blue sky is also the place you can follow me there and until then it's your boy jay signing off have a blessed day